Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak. In this video I decide to do something completely different that you really don't see in any YouTube videos. I decided to go into the, well, the micro world of what fish see in the aquarium. And as hobbyists and as we watch YouTube channels and things like that, we, we look at aquariums from a distance, but do we ever look at an aquarium the way maybe a fish would look at it? Do we ever really see the forest for the trees? The film that you're going to see is a close-up of the 90-gallon aquarium that uses a plenum. It's almost two years going. You're going to notice that it looks very clean. Uh, I had to clean out some of the plants in the front, clear them out. I just cut them down because they got to be crowding the front and actually lost a fish or two by them getting stuck in the plants and actually could not get out. So finally I had to break down and I've been snipping down like you would your yard or anything else, cutting down and cutting away plants and they will regrow, but I do have a pair of scissors and I will have to cut them down again. But have we ever stopped in this hobby and looked at that micro world that we just don't pay attention to? Now, lots of times I'll sit in front of a fish tank, but I'll sit very, very close. And I don't know if you do this or not and stare very closely into the fish tank. Not not what you see on YouTube where everybody's just showing you a distance. I mean up close and personal, inside. See what the fish are actually looking at. See the, the, the forest or the jungle that they're living in or the environment up close of how it looks. That's what this whole video or film that I'm going to show you is going to be about. I decided to do something a little different, a little experimental with the camera, trying to get into crevices and all so you can see um, what a tank that's almost two years old, never had the substrate clean, doing good. Very little maintenance has to be done to it. It uses a uh, plenum along with a BCB bag, a big one, and it uses the F zone filter. Well, you guys know, and it also uses the, the, uh, uh, GE Alter Bright lights, which I did a video on. So you will see some flickering from these lights and nothing special. Like I said, with the lights, these are, these are just something that I did a video on and found out that these, uh, uh, daylight bulbs are, are quite nice and bright white light. But in all the videos I've ever watched, no one ever shows anything up close. What, what would a fish see if it was swimming in the tank? And once in a while I'll do that. I'll sit in front of the tank and actually look as close as possible to the aquarium and the plant life to see if there's anything in it, what the fish really look like. And as you're filming or looking, the fish soon become comfortable with you being that close to the aquarium and start it, you know, start acting just naturally like they would if they were, if you weren't there. They make it spooked a little bit when you do it, if, especially if you never get that close and personal with the tank, but they finally calm down and that's what this whole video is about.